As we know, My Life as a Teenage Robot only had three seasons. While Rob Renzetti and his team was planning on releasing a fourth season, these plans would never actually become a reality. Obviously, this doesn't stop people from wondering what this fourth season would have been like. While we can't exactly give you a play-by-play of Rob Renzetti's vision for this season, we can tell you everything that we currently know. There were plans to finish Misty's arc. Renzetti has confirmed that Misty would have become a full villain in the fourth season. But we aren't sure if Jenny would sway her to be good again. Melody's arc was also supposed to be concluded, but we know even less about this. I've never seen Renzetti mention where he planned to take Melody in future episodes, but if he has mentioned it before, I'm sure that HotWax93 will correct me in the comments below. XJ-10 was also supposed to be revealed in this season, but we have no idea how large of a role they would have played, or whether they would be good or bad. Renzetti said that he once planned XJ-10 to be similar to Buffy's little sister from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but since he hated that character, he scrapped the idea. In the podcast where he revealed this, he mentioned that XJ-10 was going to be a worse crime fighter than Jenny, but she would be more popular in school. It's pretty obvious how this could have caused conflict in Season 4, since Jenny only really cares about being popular. There would have been an episode where Jenny goes back in time to fight alongside a younger version of Nora Wakeman when she was in the Skyway Patrol. We've mentioned this episode in our video about MLAATR episodes which never saw the light of day. Unfortunately for shipping fans, Rob Renzetti has confirmed in an interview that there were never plans for Jenny and Sheldon to get together. I'll let him explain his reasoning for this now. Uh, well, this is the, probably the biggest question out there for fans of the show. Uh, and I have to apologize because I think it all uh, stems from an offhanded comment I made in an early interview when the show was going on, which was said where I said that I was rooting for Sheldon being a nerd myself that I was rooting for Sheldon and Jenny to get together versus Brad and Jenny getting together. Mm. Um, uh, we had no clear plans to do that. <laughs> I know that that's going to, um, you know, bust a lot of uh, Sheldon, uh, Jenny fans hearts out there. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying they wouldn't have gotten together. Uh, I'm not saying they would get together. We really hadn't planned that far in advance. The tone of the season would have been the same as the other three seasons, despite a lot of fans wanting it to get darker. I'm assuming that season 4 would have been a lot like season 3. Renzetti has confirmed that he wanted season 4 to be the final season of My Life as a Teenage Robot. So we would have probably seen Jenny put an end to Vexus for good. I'm not saying that Jenny would kill Vexus, maybe just take her powers away. Kind of like the conclusion to the we have no way of knowing what the official fourth season would have been like. But I think I know somebody who has a pretty good idea what the fan-made final episodes will be like. Well, I better have a good idea of what they're gonna be like. I'm the one directing them! My name's Nathan, and I'm the director and producer of My Life as a Teenage Robot Rebooted, the fan-made unofficial final seasons to the show. Asterisk, please don't sue us, Viacom. Will any of the ideas that Rob Renzetti had for cancelled episodes of the show be explored in seasons 4 and 5? Some are, some aren't. Misty we're saving for season 5, so how we're going to handle her is kind of an unknown right now. But I do expect, at the very least, that there will be a fight between Misty and Jenny, considering how they left each other in season 3. Whether or not they keep fighting, we don't know yet. The time traveling Jenny Wakeman meeting up with Skyway Nora kind of turned into Activation Day. We dropped the time travel aspect and just went with it being a full-blown prequel. It's a kind of a cool way to introduce all the characters again at the beginning of Season 4 without doing a whole recap episode. It's just show how it all started. Melody's arc is concluding in Season 4, the finale to be specific. Obviously we have no idea how it would have been handled officially, but I can assure at least that what we're doing is rapidly becoming one of my favorite episodes of our reboot project. It gets super chaotic and super intense. It's one of those everything comes together episodes. 
XJ10 we have absolutely no plans for currently. Our problem with XJ10 is that the moment you introduce her, you introduce big questions on her very existence. Like, why would Nora build her? To build XJ10 would be to imply that Nora is not happy with Jenny and is thinking about replacing her like she did the other sisters. Or another question, would she be better at things than Jenny? If not, why build her? <laughs> if she's better at things than Jenny is because she's a newer model, you're taking away focus from Jenny's story. If she's not better and needs to learn from Jenny to be better, then why was she built? And then another question, how does she respond to long-standing villains and other characters? Like we would have to introduce XJ10 to Vexus, Vega, Misty, etc, depending on whose arc is being concluded when. That would be a phenomenal waste of time for a character that had nothing to do with their arcs to begin with. Etc, etc, etc. So, all in all, we're a little hesitant on the aspect of it actually doing XJ10. There's a lot of hurdles to get over if she were to ever become a thing on our reboot. That's not to say that she's an impossibility, but she's definitely at the bottom of our list of things to cover. Our long, long, incredibly long list of things to cover. As for the ship war, we absolutely have to make a decision on it. Brad versus Sheldon versus nobody, because the fandom absolutely wants an answer. We get the question all the time. But whoever we choose, we unfortunately lose. It seems Brad and Sheldon are split 50-50 overall amongst the fandom, and choosing no one would upset all of those people. And ixnay on the introducing a new character to date Jenny concept. That's even worse than saying nobody and walks the line of being a Gary Stu almost instantly. So, there will be an answer, and we will be hated for it. We're not looking forward to it. Vexus's conclusion, however, is largely being saved for season five and likely ties in with Jenny's own conclusion as the series comes to a close. And yes, it will definitely be a big final confrontation that will result in absolute finality in some way. After the arc is over, it will be very clear that there will never again be a Jenny versus Vexus fight in our continuity. Exactly how the arc concludes and exactly what happens to both of them, however, is still up in the air for us. We got a vague idea, but no big details. Our focus has been primarily on season four. Rob Renzetti said that he only planned on making a fourth season. Why are you making two more seasons instead of just one? The news that Mr. Renzetti and his original crew were only planning on doing one more season is actually relatively new. It might have been planned so back in 2004 when Teenage Robot was still in development, but the podcast mentioning these plans have only come up recently. As such, they weren't an influence on our decision to do two seasons instead of one. Nonetheless, the biggest factor on deciding to do two seasons was how much we wanted to do. Not only do we want to conclude story arcs from the old series, but we got our own fun episode ideas that we want to explore. If we jammed the conclusion of all these characters into one season and then on top of that do the stories that we think of and want to tell, it becomes a giant mess. He needs some downtime from when Melody's arc is relatively concluded and when the big final arc with Vexus comes in to wrap up the whole series. Those are big moments and they have their own build-ups and climaxes. You can't rush it. Especially since we want to take the series in a more sequential direction gradually, rather than keeping it Monster of the Week over and over again. Two seasons just seemed like the logical choice story-wise to cover it all. How different will the tone of the reboot be compared to the original series? Prequel aside, our season 4 starts off in the same tone and style as the old series and is largely where we put our own ideas. Monster of the Week style. Then, at about 60% of the way through, the episodes start carrying over plot elements from previous episodes and start to become more sequential. At the same time, the stories start getting more and more serious. Characters start to analyze who they are, the life lessons that they learn throughout the episode, and what it all means to be alive. Etc, etc. By the season 4 finale, it's darker than Teenage Robot has ever been. There's still plenty of jokes and comic relief, of course, and it's not like we're suddenly going Donny Darko where everything's grim and depressing and whimsical. But it definitely does take on a more serious tone. Is there anything else you'd like fans of the show to know about your vision? Rebooted's overall mission isn't just to bring back the show, it's to take it places where it hasn't gone before as well. Some people will love that, and some people will prefer the old style better. All we can do as a crew is hope you'll give it a chance. Thank you for your time, Nathan. Your project is very promising. But I have one final question for you before I let you go. Will Roblox Jenny make some sort of cameo in an episode of the show? Look at her face. You can't say no to that. <laughs> Never. Never. <laughs> well, that's a bummer. Subscribe to My Life as a Teenage Robot Rebooted, everyone. They're doing something fantastic for our community, and they deserve all the support they can get. I've been your narrator, Andre. Thanks for watching.
for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a rating. If you want to reach us, leave a comment. Or check out our other platforms. Links are in the description. Especially once, mm, suspect, mm, especially, mm. <sighs> I feel like the dolphin from freaking SpongeBob out of water. <laughs> he keeps trying to say something, but then he keeps like, <sighs> good lord, I want to die.